Welcome to Ruger Tech Tips. I'm Brandon Trevino, and today we're going to talk about how to reassemble the Ruger 5.7 pistol and perform a functions check. Now that we have it apart, we have it cleaned, you've got a perfect opportunity to do a routine inspection. Whenever I clean my pistols, I'm always checking for excessive wear. Um, you're going to you know, take a look at the rails. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, our extractor has proper tension, make sure that it's uh, not chipped or cracked in any way. Uh, we can take a look at the ejector and the hammer. Um, of course, the, uh, the frame rails. Again, you can check the barrel. You're going to look through it, you know, take a look at the rifling, make sure the chamber is clean. This is just routine inspection. If you see anything that looks out of place, uh, you can talk to a gunsmith, you can call Ruger customer service, but you want to make sure to always maintain your pistol in top condition. Reassembly is fairly simple. We're going to start with the slide assembly. I'm going to turn that upside down. I'm then going to take the barrel, turn it upside down with the lug facing upward. Slide it in kind of at an angle here so that the barrel will come through the hole. And I'm going to move it all the way back to the breech face and make sure that it's centered in the slide. Next I'm going to take my recoil spring and I'm going to make sure that the, uh, the flat wide end is toward the barrel and the narrower end is toward the muzzle. I'm going to insert that in the pocket that's uh, it's created for it right here in the front and I'm just going to slide it down. I have to compress it maybe uh, an eighth of an inch or so just to get it onto the uh, front of the barrel lug like so. All right, so with everything centered, I can now pick up my grip frame assembly and I'm gonna put the slide assembly right on top. Oops. About a quarter inch forward of the rearward position. It'll just settle right on top. All right, I'm going to now lock it back to the rear pressing up on the slide lock with my thumb to hold the slide in the rearward position. Before I can rotate this takedown lever, I need to push back on the barrel. You can see how it's a little bit free. We're going to push the barrel all the way back, rotate the takedown lever 90 degrees, and then press in so it snaps. So I get a nice click on that takedown lever. That, know, that way I know it's locked. Now I can release the slide. Now that we've reassembled our pistol, we're going to perform a quick functions check just to make sure that we did everything properly. First thing I'm going to do is, again, make sure the pistol is unloaded and clear. So I will lock the slide to the rear. I'm going to do a quick chamber check. I'm going to drop the slide. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert this empty magazine. I should push it up until I hear a click. Make sure that that magazine is properly retained. Next thing I'm going to do is retract the slide all the way to the rear. The slide should automatically lock back because I do have an empty magazine in the pistol. So now I, I know that works. I can drop the empty magazine, set that aside. I'm going to close the slide and we'll check the safety. I'm going to move the manual safety to the upward safe position and squeeze the trigger. Nothing happens. Now I'm going to move it down into the fire position squeeze the trigger and hold it all the way to the rear. So I heard the hammer fall. I know that that worked correctly. Now I'm going to manually cycle the slide to simulate the gun resetting. And as I release the trigger, I should hear another click, which is the trigger reset. That worked correctly. So I know I've successfully performed my functions check. I can place the pistol back on safe and set that aside. Thank you for watching this Ruger Tech Tip on reassembly and functions check for the Ruger 5.7 pistol.